Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another video on Modern Warships. I'm The Unknown. And before I get started with today's video, if you guys check your inboxes, you will find that you will receive 3,500 entrant badges, which is nice. Another thing is there is a mute massacre going on in the uh, global chat right now, and I was a victim of that massacre. I uh, said global chat massacre of 2023 in all caps and got muted for it without a warning. Thanks, Davos. Anyways, getting on with today's video, I'm going to be doing a review, a requested review of the Mi-28 NM Havoc. Which is a Russian helicopter that is the free award for the event. It is exclusive to this event. So once it's gone, it's gone for now. Anyways, let's go over its stats. Its durability is 10,270, which is actually pretty good. Has a speed of 65.7 knots. Maneuverability of 58.5. A radar range of 10.4 kilometers. Holy crap, that's insane. And a sonar range of 120 kilometers. And I'm going to be doing a damage test with this helicopter and a speed test. Alright, let's get started with the overall looks of the helicopter first. So the Mi-28 is sort of like a Russian version of the Apache. They look very similar in terms of overall looks, but they have their differences. The Mi-28 has more of a boxy look going for it. Anyways, let's go see a top speed of this thing real quick. Okay, so it has a top speed of 440 knots. So it's not the fastest helicopter, but that radar range obviously uh, makes up for that. Well, we'll see in a minute. 10.4 kilometers. So I should be able to spot my Yamato right about now. Right about now. There it is. Wow. Okay, so... It was about 4 kilometers away where I saw the Yamato. Okay. So now we can do our uh, little damage test here. See how much damage this helicopter can do. Oh, it has an anti-air missile. Look at that. Alright, first we'll do the machine gun. See how much damage the machine gun can do. So you're going to be doing 21,500 damage with the machine gun. Not too bad. Oh, now we have we have two machine guns. Okay, look at this. You're going to be doing about 30,000, 35,000. Wow, look at that. 48,000 damage with that machine gun. Look at that. That's actually really nice. And then you have guided missiles, which do 26,000 damage. Now, I want to test something real quick. Does this... Gun fire at... Oh, it does fire at planes. Look at that. Wow. Dual machine guns. Look at that. That's pretty cool. So we'll take about 5,000 damage away from the total damage of the helicopter just to make up for that. So we'll see how much damage we can possibly do with this helicopter. The fire rate on the main machine gun is not that good. Uh, it's not that good at all, actually. But this machine gun here, this anti-air machine gun, very nice. Overall, I like the helicopter. We're doing pretty decent damage. We're just eating away at my Yamato here. Look at that. It just eats away at this thing. Alright, we'll do one more round with the machine guns, and then we'll count the total damage up. Remember to minus by 5,000 to counter those uh, planes. Pretty good helicopter. I do like this helicopter. I, I'm looking forward to having it in my arsenal. Alright, so you're going to be doing about 483,000, 482,000 damage with the helicopter. Overall, a very nice helicopter. Definitely uh, worth having if you do have it. Um, it's a very nice helicopter, has a lot of firepower. I do like how it has dual cannons here. 
that you can fire at um, planes and such. Very nice, very nice touch added to the helicopter indeed. I do like that. And you can kill all three of them using one magazine. Pretty nice. Anyways, let me know what you guys think of the Mi-28 Havoc. I definitely approve of it. It's definitely on the good side of helicopters. It serves a multi-purpose of anti-air and anti-ship. And yeah, let me know what you guys think about it. Peace out.